All right, so every now and then, something drops in the AI world that just makes you stop and say, <laughs> what? Today is one of those days. Forget what you thought you knew about open source AI video, because a new project called UniVA just came out of nowhere. And it's not just good, it's ambitious. We're talking about a tool that aims to be a full-on video generalist, understanding, editing, and generating complex, long-form video. And here's the kicker. In their own benchmarks, its understanding module is already scoring higher than giants like GPT-40 and Gemini 2.5 Pro on complex video tasks. And in human evaluations, it's beating other popular video models. So today we're going to dive into the examples, see what it can really do, and then I'll break down how it works and how you can maybe get your hands on it. All right, let's start with an example that really showcases its core strength. The input here is just a single image of an anime character. From that, we give it this incredibly specific prompt. Create a 20 second video of the girl dancing split into four five second segments, each with a radically different background style. The styles are cyberpunk, aesthetic ink dream, retro film, and abstract geometric dynamic. The crucial command, though, is that the character and her movements must stay consistent. Now, let's watch the output. The first five seconds kick off with that cyberpunk city, and it looks fantastic. Then, it seamlessly transitions into the aesthetic ink dream. Look at the detail in that style. It's beautiful. Next up is the retro film block, and it nails that vintage vibe. And it finishes with the abstract geometric dynamic look. But the truly stunning part here is the character herself. She is perfectly consistent across all four completely different art styles. Her face, her outfit, her hair, it doesn't change or morph. This is a massive challenge in AI video generation, and UniVA handles it almost flawlessly. This isn't just generating four clips, it's maintaining an identity. Okay, so it can handle art styles, but what about a structured narrative, like a commercial? Here, the prompt is a four-step script for a bread advertisement. One, a close-up of hands kneading dough. Two, sprinkle cherry blossom petals on the bread in slow motion. Three, a customer tastes it and smiles. Four, the brand logo, Bread Talk, appears. Let's roll the clip. We start with the close-up on the dough, and the texture looks pretty convincing. Then we see the dough being stretched, and here come the rose petals falling on the finished bread. Beautiful shot. Then we cut to the customer's reaction. She's clearly enjoying it. And right on cue, at the very end, the brand logo and text fade in. It followed a multi-step sequential script to a T. That's a game changer. Let's look at another one. This is a text prompt for a really complex professional looking video. It specifies four distinct clips, each with its own action. Clip one, a man adjusts his coat in a mirror. Clip two, he's focused at work on his computer. Clip three, he's in a meeting. And clip four, he closes his laptop at dusk. The key here is character consistency across all these different settings and actions. And as you watch the video, you can see it's the same guy in every single shot. The agent created a character and stuck with him through the entire sequence. Now, will you see AI flaws? Absolutely. If you look closely at the mirror scene, the reflection behind him isn't quite right. But the fact that it can maintain a single character's identity through a whole day in the life story is incredibly impressive. The agent also gets incredibly creative. This is a video to video task. We give it an input video, but the prompt says to recreate its style, the cinematic transitions, the lighting and the tone, but tell a completely new story of an elderly man reliving his youth through a dreamlike journey across time. This requires the AI to understand abstract concepts and the output is phenomenal. It captures that same moody cinematic feel, but tells this new emotional story. We see the old man, and then his younger self appears as he remembers his past. He's looking at old belongings, triggering memories. It's genuine storytelling, the kind of output you'd expect from a high-end tool, not an open source project. It can even reason about narratives. Here, it's given a video and tasked with creating a prequel. It has to figure out what happened before the original clip, matching the character and animation style. The result is a short story about the character's backstory, showing him working hard and struggling. 
the ability to infer and construct a logical preceding narrative is a huge step towards true AI video intelligence. And as you'd expect, it handles style transfer well. Given a video, the prompt is simply to maintain all the plot and motion as is and apply the Chinese ink painting style. And you can see, it transforms the original animation into this beautiful ink wash style. It's not a perfect one-to-one -one recreation of every scene, but it captures the essence, even carrying over key objects like the bicycle from the original into the new style. So how on earth does it pull all this off? This is the most brilliant part. It's not one single giant AI model. It's a multi-agent framework built on a plan and act architecture. First, there's the planner agent. Think of this as the director and scriptwriter. You give it your complex prompt, like the foreseen anime girl video. The planner's job is to read your intent and break that down into a logical step-by-step -step production plan. It might say, step one, analyze the input image to create a consistent character model. Step two, generate a five second clip with this character and a cyberpunk background. Step three, generate another five second clip with the same character and an ink wash background and so on. Once the plan is made, it gets handed off to the executor agent or a team of them. Think of these as the specialist crew on a film set. The executor takes one single task from the plan, like generate a five second cyberpunk clip and figures out the exact tool needed for the job. This is where the Model Context Protocol, or MCP, comes in. MCP is like a universal translator. It's a standardized way for the executor to talk to a whole library of different AI tools, which are set up as modular servers. It can call a video generation tool like CDance, a video understanding tool like Intern VL, a segmentation tool like SAM2, or even a non-AI tool for just cutting video clips. This makes the whole system plug and play. You can always swap in the latest and greatest models. But the real secret to consistency is the hierarchical memory system. It has three levels. First is the user memory, which is basically your media bin. It stores the images and videos you upload. Then there's the global memory, which is the agent's long-term experience. It remembers plans from previous projects that worked well, so it gets smarter over time. And the most important one is the task memory. This is the project's short-term memory. When the planner's first step is to create a character model from your input image, that character model gets stored here. Then, for every subsequent step, generating the cyberpunk scene, the ink scene, the retro scene, the executor refers back to that exact same character model in the task memory. This is how it ensures the girl looks identical in every single shot. It's not guessing, it's referring to a master blueprint it created at the start. It's this complete pipeline, plan, act, and remember, that allows UniVA to achieve a level of coherence that single monolithic models just can't match. So how do you actually use this thing? From the demo, it looks like a full-blown video editor. You have a media bin where you upload your source clips, images, or audio. The magic happens in a chat window on the side. You can type at symbol to select a piece of media you've uploaded, then write your prompt. You can ask for a single scene or give it a complex multi-part prompt like we've seen. The agent then goes to work, generating the scenes, editing them together on the timeline, and it can even generate background music and a text-to-speech voiceover if you ask it to. It basically acts as your AI video production assistant, all within one unified interface. All right, so how can you get your hands on it? Currently, UniVA is an invite-only beta. On their official project page, which I'll link below, there's a link to a Google form to request access. You fill in your details, explain your use case, and if you're selected, they'll send you an access code for their demo system. I've put my name in the hat and I'm waiting patiently. If I get in, you can bet I'll be doing a full hands-on review. As for the code itself, they have open source in the title of the paper, and they've created a GitHub repository. As of right now, the repo is just a placeholder. The code and models haven't been uploaded yet, but this is a very strong signal that a public release is planned. Hopefully we won't have to wait too long. All the links to the project page, the paper, and the GitHub will be down in the description. I really think UniVA represents a paradigm shift, moving away from just making cool looking clips towards building intelligent engines for actual video creation. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this the breakthrough you've been waiting for? 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.